So all of these are multiple channels that you can utilize to showcase your brand and potentially increase your overall visibility online. Hello everybody, welcome to Surge. This week we will talk about five tricks that big brands use to dominate search results. Number one is relevant weekly content. Number two, online PR and backlinking. Number three, product buying guides. Number four, a multi-channel approach to displaying your e-commerce products. And number five is strategic relationships. So Joe, we get these strategies a lot. We get these questions a lot. And our job as Optimum 7, as a marketing agency, is to guide our clients in the right direction in terms of how they can compete with big brands, mm -hmm. right? So let's break this down. Relevant weekly content and relevant blog posts. What are we talking about here? Yeah, what we're talking about here is we're talking about creating quality content on your site that will then in turn give you a chance to be visible for those specific search terms on Google. So what this allows small businesses to do, businesses that don't have a tremendous budget to be throwing money at an ad campaign to appear on the top page of Google, it allows them to now put in sweat equity into a piece of content that could then potentially rank organically on page one. Got it. And how do I determine, like if, if let's say I sell CBD products, let's say I say CBD oil, what mm -hmm. type of content can I write? This, this space is already very saturated. It is, it's extremely competitive. So here's what you wanna do. Type in the search term that you think is the most valuable for your business, right? Whether it would be natural CBD or CBD for pets, depending on your product offer or service offer. Look at the first five page results. What type of content are they creating? Is it a blog post? Is it a buying guide? Does that content have videos or infographics? So identifying what those top five, in this case, winners are doing, you need to emulate what they're doing and make sure that your content is 10 times better than theirs. Got it. So let's talk about online PR. We say online PR, but we're really talking about guest blog posts, backlinks, media mentions. Why is this so important for SEO? So what this allows you to do is it allows you to acquire backlinks, which then it will in turn increase your domain authority. So larger brands have high domain authority. Either they've been around for a very long time or they've had the money and the resources to acquire high quality backlinks. So from a small business standpoint, it still needs to get done. You just may not be able to do it at the same pace. However, there are multiple resources that you can use to acquire guest posts and backlinking and online PR. Um, it's just a matter of how much resources or how many resources you can apply to it on a monthly basis. Got it. And instead of focusing on thousands of terms like big companies, you really focus on three, four, five pages, work on those first, do a strategy for a few months or maybe 45 days, nail that down and then go to the next batch of keyword universes, yeah, correct? Correct. Product buying guys, we say this a lot. We've been saying this for years. Why is this so important? There are tons of websites out there selling the same exact product. How do you now differentiate your product on your site from someone else's site that's selling the same exact product? So a lot of these product descriptions and specifications are coming from the manufacturer themselves. So what a product buying guide allows you to do is it allows you to take that content, elaborate, make it a lot more interesting, whatever you need to do to kind of sell that product, it now gives you just a whole nother resource or a whole other platform to promote that product. Got it, and not to mention that product buying guides, because you're guiding the buyer in the right direction, will always convert better. Yep. The multi-channel approach, talk to us about that. What do we mean by multi-channel? Yep. So multi-channel approach means you need to be focusing on each and every touch point online. So whether it be Google organic through content and backlinking um, to Google ads, Google shopping, YouTube, YouTube. Um, so all of these are multiple channels that you can utilize to showcase your brand and potentially increase your overall visibility online. So back in the day, you could have gotten away with just focusing on one channel and one channel alone to grow your business. However, now in 2020, that is not the case. You need to have an omni-channel approach. You need to be on each and every one of these platforms if you wanna truly increase your online visibility. Got it, so when you're talking about a Google search for any term, you're looking at the organic search, the Google search results. You have Google Local, you have Google News, you have YouTube videos that might pop up, you have Google Shopping, where your products will show up, right? So by only targeting these channels, 
you can actually have multiple results on the first page, thus increasing your possibility of getting a click-through rate and a conversion. This is what big brands do all the time. Search for any home appliance, you're gonna see Amazon on ads, Amazon on Google, Google Shopping, shopping yeah. Amazon uh, with their product listing. Now you might say, hey, how am I gonna compete with Amazon? Remember, you need to specialize, so it's in this order. With the first item that we mentioned here, you need to identify those really unique keywords that you wanna rank for and the targeted keyword universes that you need to be visible for, even though it's not going to have a crazy amount of search volume like terms that Amazon is targeting, you're going to get some traffic, but you will have a higher click-through rate and conversion rate. And the last one is strategic relationships. What do we mean by that? Yeah, so, I mean, we see this all the time with big brands who collaborate with other non-competitive partners, right? So small businesses can do the same. Um, we have multiple uh, clients of ours who have done strategic partnerships with other companies of similar stature that will complement their brand. It could either be through selling their products on their site, or it could be coming together with an adjointed budget for advertising that they would then you know, push across both of their platforms. So there are multiple ways that you can do this from, from a partnership standpoint as a small business. For example, if you go to Google and type top CBD oils or top CBD oils for pets, you're going to see some blog posts. And some of these blog posts are not offering products. They don't sell products. They just do mm -hmm. content, right? It would make sense if you sell CBD oil for pets to reach out to these blog posts and say, hey, how can I be featured in this article that's on page one of Google? So these relationships will allow you to get targeted traffic without even ranking for the term on, with your own site. Mm -hmm. And you're leveraging these strategic relationships. So those are the five tricks to compete with big brands on organic search results. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. We'll talk to you next week.